Okay, we're going to continue continue the search for these extra strong 1100s. And let's have a look and see what happens today. So we will click on the play and let's get started. Playing as white. Let's push through the center here and see if there's any anomalies in the game that we can try and maybe bump our skills up or we just have to live with the fact that you know they're playing at an extremely high level so we're going to take the pawn here we're going to play as simple chess as possible i'm going to take the knight just keep it nice and simple straightforward shall we just develop the knight the queen's in the center of the board not going to chase it yet it's so tempting for me to throw this pawn here but i'm going to resist at this moment so i'm going to bring the bishop here supporting the knight because they have two pieces attacking it, sorry. Two pieces attacking. This mouse seems to be working okay in terms of the hovering aspect. So now they're pushing this pawn, looking to maybe hit the knight here, but it's not a real x-ray, so maybe they're just thinking we're going to get at the pawns doubled. We could throw this in at this point in time, but it's just going to go back because he's wanting to keep this sort of pressure. We could move the knight out of the way. We can go on castle. So I think what we'll do is castle king safety, keep it nice and simple. So they're continuing with this attack, but like we said, the x-ray through, as far as I can see, it doesn't look too bothersome, but where does the knight go? That's the question, isn't it? We can come here, then we are attacking their bishop. So not too sure about this attack that they're doing at the minute, but there may be something in there. So we'll move the knight. So this is the picture we saw when we went and castled on the king's side because they've missed out on developing at the moment, but the knight is stuck on the rim. Where does it go? That is the question, isn't it? So they're actually going to attack the knight. And where does the knight go from here? It it can come here because the pawn can't take because we have the x-ray through to the king. And they move the quick queen now to basically stop that. So they are going to be doing this. And if they did do that and we brought the knight here, if the pawn took, we would get the queen for free. That's an interesting situation. Let's bring the rook here. And see if they're actually still going to continue doing the move or are they just going to bring the bishop here i have brought the bishop there so it's supporting so we may as well now move this because they do have like a attack on the queen king so they're going for those quick and dirty type things not really caring about their end position which is good that's falling in line with the 1100 practice so we could now attack their queen but they can just slide here with this and this here. We do have two pieces attacking this pawn, so we might as well take this pawn off the board. So I'm assuming the queen would take, and then we've got to check on the king, so winning a bit of tempo. Probably the knight's going to jump in front because it doesn't want the king to, or the bishop, whichever. So we can hit the bishop, because the bishop can't move. Still conscious that the knight can, so we're going to actually win the bishop. This feels more like an 1100 type of play because, as we mentioned in the descriptor, it's you know they go for the quick and dirty type of maneuvers and not necessarily working the pieces together as a team. And as we saw, they went for the quick and dirty, but they're still playing on. So we could hit the knight, but the knight is going to be attacking the rook. And then we haven't got our bishop developed. We can take the pawn and the knight takes. And then they're on our rook anyway. The rook can come here to kind of give them something to think about whilst we're trying to get our bishop out, maybe. So I think we'll do that. We'll go here and make it a bit more positive for the rook coming here attacking the pawn. It's probably going to come down leaning on the king so we've got space to move the king which is okay so then we'll be looking at doing this type of stuff at some point during the game so he's not actually done that he's attacking our knight 
The knight can come back here and attack the pawn. I suppose he can defend. We can bring the knight here. There's nothing else really after that. So I think what we'll do is just attack the pawn. We may just do this. Maybe trying to stop the king from coming up, but that's not happening at the minute. There is one thing we could have done with our bishop. Because I'm in narration mode, I'm so focused on that area, we could have just taken the pawn off the board with the bishop. And that's the downside for me, for me personally doing narration mode, as you see many times. So now they're going to be taking. Uh, we can take, I think, we're pieces up. And now that we've known that this pawn can be taken, we may as well bring that out. So we are a minor piece up at the minute. There's no x-rays through, so the knight's probably looking to attack the bishop. Which they have done. The knight can defend. We can bring this rook here x-ray through to their rook so if they did take we take the rook for free well what we'll do is just bring the rook across and x-ray through well, the king is defending the rook, uh, rook now so in any event we will be a piece up a knight up in the end game could put a check on the king. Can move the bishop. Can the bishop attack? No. Can put a check on the king, but obviously the rook is going to take. Anything else before we go and do that? Uh, could move the bishop. I want to do something more exciting than that. Puts the check. Checks first. Position checks is this going to improve my position put the check on it's not going to come here because that's x-raying through maybe it comes here and on the white square he's going to really want to stay near the rook but he can't can he so he either has to come here or does the knight do something i think that might cause a bit of disturbance might it? let's just put the check on the king Let's not lose on time now, overthinking this thing. The other goes back and then looking for a draw type thing with going back and back. No, it's gone onto a white square here. But we obviously aren't coming back. Knight can put a check on. It's just blocking our rook. Because then the king probably does come down and attack the knight. Rook is defending. No, it's not going to go on a dark square because we've got a dark square bishop. He may just go back to here. And we do get a check on him. And we can't take anything off the board. So check again. Checks first. Position. Does it improve my position? It feels like it's harassing them. We go here. Down. It's not going to go on that dark square. But if they did, put the bishop here. I think going with the check first, well position then checks in our world. And I don't know where they're going next, I don't think they'll go opposite here, I'm not sure they'll go here really, I think they'll just probably go back, although it does give us a discovered check, it's just that we don't have anything to take off the board, I suppose we could come here and grab this pawn, oh, they have gone there! Okay, I've gone like that, thinking that it's really good. So we bring the bishop here, put a discovered check on. Now what's his knight got? Anything brilliant? Let's bring the bishop like we said, if they were going to go here. So they may move the king now, so that it doesn't get the discovery. But we don't have anything to attack. Can't, oh, he's moved it off. It's getting further down to our pawns. Hmm, don't really like that. If we did push on to him, he's coming down trying to gobble pawns, but mm, more checks, more checks on the king. So that's two checks we've done on the king so far. In turn, so the bishop is x-raying through to the pawn. They got any, I think just pushing this and then he pushes down. Mm, push up, he's coming closer in. Thinking we're going to do this, but then he takes the knight. 
we go there, we go down. The knights can come here, put a check on the king. But then he can take the pawn and he's on the rook. Ooh. Don't like them apples. Time is running out, but I want to do it right. It's, it's, comes down, is there. Comes down, then the rook comes here, puts a check on. Thing is, he can escape coming here. Can escape going there. But he'll be able to take that pawn off over there if the rook goes here. He takes that pawn. It's not as smooth as we think, is it? So he takes the pawn. So it must be something we can do before then. There. We're thinking he's dropping here. I mean, he might just go across there, but. Drops down. We come here. He goes into the middle. We push the pawn. Up. On a dark square, the dark square bishop can't hit it yet because there's nothing protecting it. It looks a bit tense for them. Now, what's my king gonna suffer from? Anything in that area? I'm going to hit the hit the king and see if they're doing something. Picture might look different when the move is actually in play. They haven't even gone there. They've gone here. So in any event, they can come down this way, can't they? Right, so that's different. We don't know. Bishop can attack, but then obviously we lose the bishop. If the knight takes, I don't think the knight's going to take. Though. I think he's going to just hide in this corner here. So do we push this pawn up first? I'm going to push the pawn up first because it looks like he's trying to be a cheeky king coming down the back and just gobbling pawns up. And the move there a bit quick. So, can we go with this now? And then they just hide backwards and forwards coming down. Or do they go back? Look at my time. Oh my gosh, I said don't lose on time. Oh my days. Look at my time. Oh, that's shocking. Oh, he's coming for the knight. He's coming for the knight. Let's move the knight out of the way now. And action stations. We're in bullet mode now. Okay, so taking. But then I'm going to move fast now because my time's run out. All that chit chat about that position and he didn't even move there. All right, let's go. Move the king. Speed, speed, speed. Shall we? Yeah. Looks like we're giving them this pawn. And it's protecting. Protecting and serving. We're gonna lose this pawn, aren't we? We're gonna lose all our pawns. Dying seconds. What's that? Oh my God, if he gets that promoted, oh my God, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. No, this shouldn't be happening. I totally messed it up. Messing about. Oh, what is this all about? Oh, 
What? No way! No, we're not having any of that. Shocking, shocking. This shouldn't even be anywhere near. Oh. Okay, back in on playing the 1100. I've been looking at playing the 1100 standard, the expected standard in my world. You're going to be meet anomalies along the way, but there should really be few and far between. So by now we should kind of understand the traits of an 1100, whether it's anywhere near what I'm sort of um, suggesting in my own research. It shouldn't be that far off. You know, it shouldn't be 300 points higher up. You know, you're probably talking 50 points up or down. And your descriptors should really be as close to that. There or thereabouts. But nowhere near like a 300 diff point difference. So 1100 to 1500. That's a massive difference. So we're going to capture the pawn here. And we're going to take the knight off the board. So still learning how the 1100s think. How they work. So that we understand the level and the standard we would expect to actually be playing against. I'm actually going to bring the bishop here just to bait the center pawn. Probably isn't going to do it, but sometimes they do. So they're continuing with their bishop. So we're going to do the bishop blocker. And with this being open here, there'll be a focal point on attacking the B pawn. I'm going to push this just to block the um, pawn. I'm going to take the bishop off the board. And we're going to attack the rook with the queen, just develop the queen slightly. These strange type openings, you have to be very careful because sometimes they do work. And this is like a sometimes opening that this 1100 is doing at this moment in time. It's like, yes, they're opening up strangely, but has the position improved? We don't know yet really until we... Oh, and they've resigned. What is the deal? Gauge bar showing that's the deal. But in any event, the key thing is looking at the weaknesses that they're going to display during the game and leaving things unprotected. Those are the types of things you would expect to see from like 1100 type play um, going forward. And it's not to say all 1100s are like this, but it's the majority of the gameplay at 1100. You would expect to see errors. You'd expect to see blunders. You know, you're not, you wouldn't expect to see the perfect game, you know, from start to finish where you can't breathe. You can't move your pieces or anything and everything's just locked down and you're losing pieces left, right and, sp and center intricately in f fine detail you know and you, you're not going to expect that from an 1100 so as we continue this journey this is what we're looking at in terms of trying to understand what rating performance we should expect to see All right, let's put the focus in and let's not focus so much now on the opponent's standard. Let's just play our game. I think we've done it to death in terms of well, what we expect to see 
and if as you see in the game I'm getting squished it might be because I've done something wrong but have a look at the opponent in the grand scheme of the performance of the game and ascertain for yourself as to what you think the opponent's level is and what you would expect to see from a particular type of movement going forward etc so we'll just crack on and play the game as we do I'm actually going to develop the knight and don't mind doubling the pawns here don't mind giving up the queen uh, the king sorry so that he doesn't castle free spirit excellent right so let's get and put a check on their king This pawn will be out, should be our saviour. So if we move the king here and then get the rook here and then go for a virtual castle. Yep, so let's move the king, rook, sorry. Don't mind doubling the pawns in front here either. So we may as well let them have something to think about there. Maybe we can double the pawns in front of their king. I think they'll keep maintaining this. Or they'll take. They're not doing any of that. They're attacking this pawn, so we might we could just attack their bishop, couldn't we? Are we causing a bit of trouble for ourselves? I don't know. King's there. Got two pieces attacking. Okay, nice one. So we'll take. Brings the pawn back in line. Not that we really wanted that because we've got rooks, haven't we? So they need somewhere to fight white square bishops out so let's get our white square bishop out attacking their pawn and making space for the rook they're moving dead dead quick so they're obviously moving the bishop bring the rook opposite their rook is the bishop looking i don't know where it's looking to go all right so could hit this takes takes or takes or he just pushes past i think they'll probably just push past but based on what's looking like at the minute let's hit it it's even stevens at the moment thinking pushing past obviously Going to hit the pawn. Got two past two linked pawns here. I'm, I'm sure I felt a little bit of a story about that situation. I'm going to bring the rook here. On the open file doesn't mean a lot, but we can look to push here and they take get the bishop here. Something towards the king area so they're not having any of that they're not wearing that at all so we can still do the pawn move and attack their pawn oh they're not wearing any of it they're not wet okay let's have a look at this take and knight up attacking the pawn and see if we get a cheap shot they're not wearing any of it gonna have to move my king now aren't i is there a fork there's no fork take 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 bishop attacking something no not yet let's move the king I think that has to be done. Can move the knight here, tucking the pawn twice. Pawn drops down. Is there anything else? Could attack this pawn. Pawn drops down. Or the rook just comes and protects. The rook comes to protect, then we get like a orc if they come to protect. We're hoping they do. Uh, oh, <laughs> just about to celebrate. 
Oh dear, but you know what? We can't actually take this because... Well, we can. Because we can come here, can't we? Alright, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so behind the rook... Oh, we've got a rook off the board. 100. Game was abandoned. Abandoned. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take a break because um, we played a few games and we'll come back with researching the standard play for 1100s. Okay, we're back. Let's just play some chess. Push through the center. Let's attack this pawn. Let's hit the pawn in the center like we like to do. Let's take. Take the knight. Okay. Let's develop the knight. So tempting to go and attack, but they're just going to take the knight off the board. Bit aggressive. Got the pawn with the queen. Let's take. Given them a pawn, but has it improved their position? We've got two pieces developed, they've got no pieces developed. So, a pawn for better position or quicker development, I think I'm happy with that. We're actually, going on the queen side, so now they're looking to try and get, get developed. I'm going to bring the bishop here for a momentary stoppage of the castling. They'll be looking to get rid of the bishop. But we may as well. Can we do this first? It's leaning on the knight, so if they go on castle, we can take the knight off the board. So they may change the mind and just go here, but they can't because the bishop's blocking, so they can't castle yet. Now they're looking to go for it, but if they do castle, we'll be able to take the knight off the board. That's a bonus for us. Double up the attack on the knight whilst they're thinking about castling because now the bishop can't block. There's no other piece it doesn't look like that can defend the knight. Just about to say, they could just push this here, couldn't they? But we'll just take. So the element is, do we take with the rook or take with the bishop? The bishop would then be attacking their rook. The rook comes here, is x-raying through. And we can save the bishop and just bring it here, acting as a blocker. And nothing else seems to be able to touch that. Although we would lose our white square bishop. But he's, what am I on about? That was if he had done that, but we won't lose that. If we do that comes here, remove the bishop, attack in the rook, bishop probably moves here because he wants to keep his rook, I think we'll do that, just keep it simple, don't overthink it, but it's not done that at all, crikey, saw it coming, so the rook is going to be hitting there, but the bishop's obviously moving so that the rook doesn't get here, does it give us time to double the rooks or even attack their rook? Oh, come on. Let's hit the bishop with a smaller piece. Oh, they're going a bit frantic now. Shall we hit their rook here? Trying to double up. So this bishop's kind of out of commission, isn't it? So, oh my gosh. So they're going for it. Oh, can we take his rook first? No, because the bishop's going to be trapped. We take the rook. King takes. We we'll push up. We just take the rook first. It's a higher piece. We're pushing here. He takes, takes. I don't think he's going to take, though. I think he'll push it down. 
I don't think it makes much difference, does it? Let's take because it's a higher piece, so he's doing it. Got an X-ray through to the king. Let's just hit this pawn. The moving dead quick because they've got something in the sights. It looks like to me. Okay, let's take. We're on the pawn. This bishop is attacking here. So that's blocking, so the rook's not coming, putting pressure that way. Where's he looking to go? Coming down, attacking the pot. Oh, coming down, and he's going to be on the pawn here. So we take. He comes down, we take. Check on the king. Gives us time to come here, but this annoying pawn is there, but we'll be able to take it. Alright, let's do that. Take with the check. And now he's got this position that he was searching for with the bishop. And the rook gets in here. So, do we have to let the piece go? Attack the bishop. We have to let the bishop go. Just take it. Let's go here and support the pawn. Push onto the knight, take whichever something, move the king. Oh, what am I doing? Hold that there. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Maybe we need to stop now because... <laughs> oh, my giddy am. What in the days? Let's see how bad that got towards the end. Losing the advantage that we had as well, really. Look at that, 4.3. We messed it up. So the capture was okay. But this was not 
I don't think this went well at all. 4.5. Doesn't like that move, doesn't like that move. What else is there? Horn hitting. Mm, no, he just takes. Take the check, he gets a pawn. Or is this some sort of for orky type thing with the bishop? I don't see it. I don't see it. It's not that. Ooh, it might be that. It might be that. I'm thinking is this some sort of forky thing with the bishop? If they do take. If they did take. It's on a dark square though. They did. Say they did take because it's a free bishop. It's going up for us. It's something like that, isn't it? I'm still yet not seeing it. Some sort of four. And I was thinking the bishop coming here, but I don't know if that does anything. Or is the computer just happy that we've got the two pawns with their trades? Check on the king. King takes. Rook comes up, puts a check on, but the king can come back. There must be an element here where they lose their bishop. Oh my god, I'm staring right at it. <laughs> I'm staring right at it. He's got a check on the king, so he's not going to be able to take or do anything with the bishop. Oh my life. That's as simple as they obviously the take. Yeah, and then we obviously come here, put a check on. Oh, that would have been better, wouldn't it? Lovely, lovely. Okay. I think we'll call that a day. We've played enough today. And yeah, look forward to the next ones.